left. I never, I never left. Uh, well, it's weird. Okay, so here's the thing. For me, I spend the whole week picking up my camera at all pinnacle moments throughout the week. So that's how I end up putting together these vlogs is it's just like these moments in my week and it's really just short brief moments in the grand scheme of you know time <laughs> if you think about it how little i'm showing you i needed some hydration on my face god that feels good okay well that was a little bit of the Laneige cream skin tinted moisturizer my fave all right so i'm gonna get ready with you and we're gonna talk and catch up but i want to get ready as i'm doing it and not do the thing <laughs> where i chit chat and forget to actually put makeup on I'm still trying to figure out if I'm allergic to this because every time I put it on this whole area of my mouth gets really irritated and that's always a sign to me that I have an allergy to something I'm wearing. The second time this week that I've taken a break from it and put it back on so we'll see because it's either hormonal or it's this and I really hope it's not this because I love it and I would hate for it to be the culprit of the reason why my skin's been acting crazy. It could be a number of things so this will be the true test today. Today is the test. But anyway, I I, uh, <laughs> I didn't really take a break. I just didn't film this week. That's what I normally do. I've taken complete days off. I did a little, yesterday I did a little voiceover for that fun video I made, which was really fun for me to make. So it didn't feel like too worky, even though I spent, you know, a good portion of my morning filming myself in various locations throughout the house, but it was fun. I should have just taken the day off though. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to not do something. Um, but anyway, I've been working though with my nonprofit that I work for. Been doing that and I've been relaxing as well. I've been doing, trying to do my best at just downtime. Last night I took down all of the Christmas decor. Christmas is for the most part taken down. I need to do the outdoor lights and I need to take all the lights off the tree. And I actually was thinking about doing a project with the tree that would be a craft. And I think it would be a fun way to repurpose it because every year we have a headache of like where we're going to put the tree because we don't have a truck. Getting it here is one thing, but strapping it to the roof, I guess we could have done that. We could just like always strap it to the roof and take it down to the dump, but we're really bad about saying we're going to cut it up into pieces and put it into the yard trash garbage thing and we end up throwing it next to our garbage area and forgetting about it and then it gets just left there year round. <laughs> anyway, I shouldn't be admitting it because we're very ashamed of it. We are. So today, today we're gonna go run some errands and we're going thrifting. My favorite thing ever. I haven't been thrifting in like two weeks. So I'm really excited about going thrifting. I just, tomorrow it's New Year's Eve and we're going out and I'm excited. But I feel like the sparkle dress is a little bit too dressy. I don't know, are people dressing up? Does it matter? Do I care? I don't care if I'm overdressed. I don't care if other people are dressed up or not. I can dress up. But the thing is, is that I don't want to be so sparkly that I'm like reflecting light in the comedy club because I'm going to be under a lot of pressure to be able to sit in the comedy club to begin with because of my issue with agoraphobia and, and having to sit in certain places when I go there. So we've been there a few times and every time I have to request to sit near the bathroom or the exit and I just let them know I have an anxiety disorder, blah, blah, blah. I can't feel boxed in. You don't understand. And it's such a thing. It's such a thing to have to explain to people. It's just the boxed in feeling. It's not claustrophobia. It's just the feeling of being caged or stuck. I'm like, I think at heart, maybe I was like, in one of my previous lives, I was like a circus animal, not able to ever leave my my confinement. And so my, my latter life, maybe I promised to myself, one day when you're a human, you'll never be caged again. <laughs> Something like that. It's not that deep, but it <laughs> feels like it could be because it's definitely an issue for me. And it always has been, but it's just gotten really, really bad when I don't have alcohol to get me through it. So that's the only difference is before I would just drink my way through the situation and be fine. For the most part, I still had some anxiety when I was drinking, but for the most part, I was just like, drinking so I didn't I wasn't thinking about it I was just like okay as long as I have my drink <laughs> and then I would laugh and have a good time but I would still be anxious it would still cause some problems and make me feel anxious and 
make me not want to go and I just don't want to live my life not doing things just purely because I know I'm going to have a panic attack. I mean, it sucks. If you've ever had a panic attack, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a horrible feeling. It's scary. You feel like you're going to die. You feel like you're gonna have a heart attack. You don't wanna embarrass yourself or others in front. You don't wanna embarrass the people you're with. For me, that's always a huge part of it. It's like, I don't want anybody I'm with to stress out about me. And I don't wanna, and that's why a lot of times I would just not do things because I'm like, I don't, I just don't wanna stress people out. And I don't wanna stress out who I'm with and embarrass them. But then I'll get FOMO because I wanna go do the thing too. So it's just a tough battle. It really is, it's a tough place to be. And uh, I just think I'm a free spirit and I need to be able to move around and choose, you know, where I sit. I can't be boxed in by people right now in my life. But I hope that there's a day uh, with therapy and working through it that I can just feel safe no matter where I am, you know, and whether or not I'm in the middle of a room, but God, just the sound of it still just talking about it is like giving me heightened blood pressure. Just talking about sitting somewhere where there's a bunch of people behind me in the center of a room. I just can't do it. I can't. Mad respect for anybody who's able to do that because <laughs> I just don't understand it. Uh, let's talk about one more thing. Let's talk about how I deleted Vlogmas, the final, the fourth one. 60 or so people viewed it, so that's good. <laughs> but I think in the future, if my channel were to grow and anybody was trying to binge watch all of my Vlogmases at some point, which I've done to other YouTubers, so I'm just wondering if anybody will ever get to the point where they want to binge my content at all and be like, why does Vlogmas just end here? Holy crap, what is going on? What happened? But yeah, so uh, basically what happened was as I had pre-filmed sit down talk video talk through with my presence and I was watching it back and I was just like, I hate it. <laughs> I just hate it. And it was just me sitting there talking about what I got. I just hate, I just hated it. I thought there's nothing special about it. I didn't really look that cute. The angle was bad. The lighting was bad. So um, I did film that twice just so you know. So I'm like, yeah, no, I totally took time off. No, I filmed that twice. I edited it twice. But the second one was only five minutes long, so it was a pretty quick edit. Um, not good. So I went to go delete it because I had uploaded it to YouTube and I was about to make it go live. And I'm like, I just, something about this video is just driving me nuts. I don't like it. And so I went to go delete it. And usually the last video you uploaded is at the top. And so without looking, I just deleted the, the most recent upload. And for some reason, it was the Vlogmas 4 that was at the top. Long story short, it was a horrible, horrible nightmare and I'm really sad. Like I'm actually really legitimately sad. That's like a whole week of Christmas memories with having Dante's here and just, I know it's silly. You guys probably think it's silly, but it really bums me out. Like I actually felt like crying because I can't find it anywhere. I also deleted every file off of my computer because I don't like having files built up on my computer. I prefer to clear it all out. And that's just how my mind works. It's just a fresh start. So I um, fresh started my computer <laughs> and then deleted Vlogmas 4 thinking it's up on YouTube so it doesn't matter. It's gone forever and it's sad. It's the saddest thing ever. I'm so sad. <laughs> But lesson learned, if you want to watch my video, don't procrastinate because your ass might not never see it because my dumb ass might delete it on accident. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to actually finish doing my makeup because I didn't realize I was going to talk so much, but I had a lot to catch you guys up on just with the deleting of the Vlogmas. I need to get ready to go. We have to go pick up a present for my husband for his birthday, which is New Year's Eve. I'll be honest with you, <laughs> so you might not agree. This dress needs to be shorter. Here's the thing. It looks cute in the mirror, like looking at myself looking back at me in the mirror, sure, it's cute. And it's definitely cute with the boots. But here's the thing, I'm tall. I'm 5'7", I'm taller. I'm, I, I guess that's like could be considered average or whatever, but 5'7", if you put on anything with a heel, kind of starts kicking you up towards the six foot thing. And that's pretty tall for women. So I feel like a 5'7 girl wearing a dress like this really works if you're super, super slender. But since I'm not, I'm quite curvy. Uh, that can kind of read a little bit like big tent to me. And I feel like 
it's cute, but ugh. I feel like just the fit of the dress is so much better on me because of my height if it's shorter. So I just, this is why I buy really cute dresses at thrift stores and then I end up cutting them, making them shorter. That's what I like. That's what I like on me. This is Hugo, by the way, and he is the new guy that you guys saw in the presents video. He is, um, <laughs> he's staying with us for a week and he goes home after New Year's. So, uh, excuse them. It, what was I saying? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're heading to the little local shop and we're gonna buy the, oh, did a bird just fly into my car? What was that? Uh, we're going to get the little wood hand carved piece of art. It's like a piece of art that you like hang on a wall or you display and he just really liked it and he even said after like no he said before Christmas he's so bad at this he said did you get me that thing because if not I'm gonna go get it and I'm just like would you stop asking me what presents I got you he did the same thing with a beanie he said did you get me a beanie because I'm gonna buy myself one and I was like are you f I did buy him a beanie <laughs> he's just like I doubt you're it's the one that you specifically are buying and I just, I was like, could you please stop guessing your presents? <laughs> it's really annoying. I did, I got him a All Saints, which All Saints is such a great brand. It's such high, like good quality. So I got him an All Saints Baney and a Henley style shirt. That's just really nice. He's actually wearing it today. He loves it. He's been wearing it pretty much every day. And so I got him the All Saints shirt and the hat to go with it. And uh, so I knew that he, there's no way that that's what he was gonna buy for himself. And so he's wearing the All Saints beanie today out golfing on this horrible dreary day. But you gotta get in when you can with golf around here. And so if he's gotta golf in the rain, he will. He just has all of the gear for it. Like he has like, holy. <laughs> That scared the shit out of me. It came out of nowhere. Uh, so yeah, he's golfing today and Monday actually. So it's like his birthday golf weekend and I'm all for it. I love that he golfs, by the way. If anybody's wondering, it does not annoy me. I'm not one of those wives that's like, you golf too much. Like I, for him, it's his pastime. It's how he relaxes. And if he doesn't go golfing, he's obnoxious to be around. So for him to get like his peace and his like, good state of mind um, he needs to golf even though he gets really upset <laughs> when he goes golfing and doesn't have a good golf day so I mean last night he was like I think I'm gonna go low tomorrow and I said good for you you go low <laughs> that means his score is good um, so he was like I'm going low tomorrow so yeah, he's out with his buddies today. One one of the guys canceled because he's like, I'm not doing the rain, but everybody else seems up for it. So I'm glad, I'm happy that he has that. Okay, here's the shop. Why is there so many cars everywhere? It is, Christmas is over, people. Is this person trying to get around? Okay, what are we doing? Ooh, FedEx, that's not a good spot, buddy. Sorry, buddy. God dang. Give me my tens. G -g give me my tens. Give me, give me my tens. Now take away two. I eight. I win. Boom, boom. Give me, give me my. Okay, I'm done. Alright, this is where I went. That's the name of the store. It's called the Pacific Northwest Shop. And they had gift wrap. They gift wrapped it for me, which is lovely. Look at this adorable 
little gift box. It's so cute. And it looks like Christmas trees, but because it's the Pacific Northwest, this is something that actually is just very on brand. In the box is the little emblem, which I took a photo of it to share with you. So here it is, because it's in the box, so now I can't show you. I have got a bone to pick. <laughs> Can we just talk about it? Can we just talk about it? I am so over Pacific Northwesterners shaming people for wanting to wear rain gear. I'm over it. I'm over it. If I'm a chick who wants to wear a cute outfit and a raincoat to protect it from the fucking rain, I'm gonna wear it. But somebody legit just said to their wife behind me, she's obviously not from around here. And she goes, yeah, like, like, they're making fun of my outfit. Meanwhile, they are wearing jeans and just your typical like weatherproof hoodie style kind of jacket. I don't make fun of how bland and boring your dress wear is. Why do you feel the need to come for me because I'm wearing something cute? I am just so over it. I had a girl literally bully me in a 7-Eleven once for wearing a raincoat and nothing gets me more fired up. I'm telling you what, nothing gets me more fired up than that. And I think it's because I got bullied. So I just, I really hate it when people pick on each other and shame people for what their choice is to wear. I don't care what you're wearing. Wear whatever you want, but don't judge people or come for them for wanting to wear whatever they want. And the, the, little do they know that I've been coming to Seattle since I was 18 years old when my mother moved here. I've been coming to the Pacific Northwest for a very long time. I'm not from here, but I don't wanna be from here if that's the attitude people are gonna to have towards each other about what they're fucking wearing. It, pi it pisses me off beyond be I cannot with it. I'm so sick of people judging anybody for anything that they want to do and choose to do in their lives, period. I just got so many irrita irritating things happen in a, in a row that I need to have a come to Jesus moment. I need to just, I need to chill out. I need to chill out because that fired me up. And I looked at them. I looked right at them. Like, cause it didn't, I, you know, I was walking pretty fast. I'm holding my groceries and I don't know that I heard them and that they were, you know, I was, I'm always in la la land. So I just don't assume people are talking about me. So it wasn't until I'm really far away from them at that point and they're getting in their cars and I'm walking to the parking lot that I realized that they were talking about me, but I heard they're, she's not from here and they're laughing and making fun of me when I turned and looked at them. So it was kind of like, I see you. I usually don't get bothered by people like this. I really don't. But it was just how sure and certain they were of their closed mindedness and their judgment. That's what it is. I think that's what gets me more than anything. I do not judge people. I don't judge them. I let them live their lives, do your thing, wear what you want, whatever. I might have differing opinions, but I don't judge and I don't make fun. And when people do that out loud in front of somebody, at somebody, to their partner, it's so disgusting. It's just such a gross, it's like, you know what, that's what, that's where I need to come to my moment of like, okay, calm down. Because remember that that's them and they have that burden. They have that burden of closed mindedness that they have to live with. And that sucks. <laughs> and I don't have that. Woo, I'm free. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> just messaging my friend Sean who was commenting because I posted on Instagram about how those people made fun of me and he was like meanwhile they're probably in the most boring outfit ever and I was at the same time sending him a message saying yeah they're just in like your typical jeans going back to their shiplap home I don't know I was being kind of catty and I <laughs> commented it and he said the same thing at the same time so we're like dying he said um I'll donate to your tire iron go, go fund me <laughs> People don't dress up anymore. And I want to be where the people are dressing up and, and putting an effort. And just, that's just one thing I have to say about the Pacific Northwest. And this is no offend, offense to anybody who like chooses to just like not really dress up. Sure, I get it. But I personally like to look nice when I go places. Cause I sit at home and I don't look nice. <laughs>
I just um, really appreciate being able to like dress up, go thrifting, go shopping. <laughs> they are, how funny. Well, I think it's a Target brand. And I, in spring and summer, they do this a lot, I think. But yeah, how funny. <laughs> If I needed a second one. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I won thrifting. So, everybody else, sorry, but I won. <laughs> Being so dramatic. Uh, I, but I did win thrifting. <laughs> so, are you ready for possibly the cutest dress I've ever found, ever? I can't. I can't. I cannot. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am so freaking glad I went to the thrift store today. I was so close to not going. Oh my gosh. I'm just so, I'm, I'm actually speechless. This dress is so beautiful and so cute. Oh my god. I'm in heaven. I'm in absolute, I'm in dress heaven. It's so well made. It's really thick and very well made. I need to look at the brand. I'll tell you guys here in a second. It's this beautiful navy blue with all of these like earth tone flowers going through it and the belt is really nice. It's really thick. The material is so sturdy that it's a little tight on the arms and that's the only thing that I just, you know, I'm concerned about because if I like bend forward to pick something up because it doesn't have a lot of stretch to the material. I'm afraid I'm gonna bust a seam. This shape dress is such a classic. It's so classic. It just is very pinup. The only thing is now I love this brand so much I want to find more. I'm gonna go online and see if I could find more dresses by this brand because I freaking love it so much. Look at this carpet bag. It's patent leather. I only buy purses if they're vintage or of a brand label that I appreciate. I'm not buying like basically cheap handbags. Look at how good this purse though looks even just with this outfit. I love it with the black boots. Look at this little monkey hanging off the side of his tree branch. What you do hanging off the side like that being with your little wig? Look at your little wig. Look at it. <laughs> Everybody good? Maybe I can have some Tina butter. Might have some Tina butter. Can I have a slice? Oh, there's some Tina butter melted right into the floor. <sighs> nom, 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 nom. Tina butter, Tina butter, Tina butter. <laughs> you said, Mama, I love it when you do Tina butter. I love it. <laughs> I need to eat some lunch. I'm gonna have some chips and dip, and I'm gonna sit for a little bit and catch up on some Housewives of Dallas, which is the most recent show I've been into, and it's terrible and so good. Good morning. It's the next day. It's the afternoon, and we are getting ready to go. <laughs> what is wrong with my voice? But we're going for a dog walk and I'm gonna get to wear all of my new stuff. I haven't gone on a walk since Christmas. So I'm excited to uh, get out with them and we're bringing the new guy, Hugo. His name is officially the new guy. <laughs> Lyle keeps calling him Hector. Then I'm gonna get back and decide on what I'm gonna wear. We at first thought we were just gonna have dinner at the comedy club, but then we were remembering the other night that we don't love the food there. It's not that it's bad, it's just bar food. And so, I think for his birthday, we wanted something a little bit more special than that is all. Uh, we've decided not to have dinner there. We're just gonna have like the two drink minimum and they have NA beers and coffee and stuff like that. Yeah, that is the plan. We're gonna get these dogs geared up and ready for a lovely dog walk down in the waterfront area. And what else? <laughs> I just got that unrecorded. Can I leave it in? <laughs> but look at these clouds. Those don't look real. Why do they look fake? It's like black and white. No, oh, look who wants to go back there with all the babes. The boy. I know. Their dad just went to go get, um, I should put my sunglasses on. He went to go get a kombucha. He didn't want a drink, but this little coffee shop place is so cute. It's decorated really cute inside and they have the best adaptogenic 
mushroom style like healthy coffees not even coffee it's like a drink it's like a, a elixir and so that's what I'm gonna get little icicles on the outside their Christmas decorations are a freaking adorable and the whole place is purple um, but yeah we're just gonna we're heading down to the, actually the duck pond and the rose like where the rose gardens are but the roses are all gone but we're just going there because we have three dogs and sometimes when you have a lot of dogs or it's just a hectic day we don't want to go where there's gonna be a million people perfect little day down by the duck pond all three dogs, <laughs> the new leashes we haven't used yet, and some beautiful sunshine. Gorgeous day out. And my coffee. Actually, it's not a coffee. It's a turmeric, ashwagandha, something or other. Birthday boy. Look at your braids. <laughs> okay we went for a dog walk and i'm already like feeling super rushed and out of time so i'm going to show you my makeup as quickly as i possibly can i am just wearing like a silver double wing with a little bit of a fox eye i was going to do lashes but now i'm like i don't have time for that <laughs> so i was going to do like the lilac street like corner lash but i don't think i have time so i need to get dressed and blow dry my hair still and then we gotta go because doors are open right now I hate this feeling. I hate the rushed feeling. I hate it. Why did I do this to myself? We had all day. <laughs> I went with what makes me feel good. The dress, the default dress, because the silver one honestly is just far too dressy. And now I'm running out of time. I don't have time to think. And I know that this one makes me feel good. So that's what I put on. I managed to blow dry my hair so quick. And actually it's my best feather bang yet. And I just tossed on a leather jacket that's a little bit too small. I need a new one. I'm on the hunt for a leather jacket while thrifting. So I'm keeping an eye out for that. But here we are. Outfit. You guys are going to have a great time. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> it's real. Yeah, it's me. I'm here. Definitely think my favorite... <laughs> The joke was the volcano. He's been doing that kind of shit so long that he has that natural, like, knows when to be, like, tuned back into people. Yeah. Yeah. Just a natural flow to it. Yeah, Isn't it weird how you can always tell with the, op the difference with the openers? Mm -hmm. It's just interesting to see how, like, they handle it. It was so good. Yeah, it just it makes me just want to make sure that we go see, like, every single iconic comedian that we know when they come to town. Like, we can't miss it, because... I, I know. That's like my favorite part. Yeah, it would be cool to get a photo with Tim Meadows. Here we are for dinner. <laughs> New Year's Eve dinner. <laughs> this is the place we're going. Copper and salt. This place is so cool. It's the bar. We just got food to go so we can get back to the dogs. And we're drinking non-alcoholic IPAs ringing in the new year with Harry Potter and then that's not Harry Potter <laughs> there's Harry Potter I don't know who that is and then we still have a Christmas tree it's beautiful that is a beautifully decorated tree I've been seeing a lot of people doing these crowns at the top what is that do I need to be doing crowns I should, I should be crowning my tree. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to 2024. The day that I told myself I was going to relax. I was going to sit downstairs and just relax maybe play a little bit of my new video game and guess where i am and guess what's in my hand <sighs> projects <sighs> i don't know how to relax so i'm going to upcycle some dresses today i'm going to do a little bit of it for sienna and the craftsman this dress is uh what i call if you're new here a teacher's dress and these are dresses that remind me of teachers in the 90s that would wear shoulder pads this has roses all over it and that's why I bought it well and plus it was very very cheap I think this dress was like under five bucks so I just grabbed it because it's black and it has roses on it and I love that so this dress would just be look it's so long 
just not a length that looks good on me. And what I'm going to do with all of these dresses, spoiler, I'm just going to say now, is I'm going to shorten them all. I'm going to give them all the baby doll style length that I like on me. This dress is actually from, I think, Shein. It's a Shein dress. And I love it. It looks very much like a funeral dress, just because it's black with the uh, lacy lapel. But is that a lapel collar? I want to shorten this because it is so freaking long. It's actually, I think this dress is meant for like tall girls, so really tall girls, because even the sleeves are way too long. Uh, I would like to fix that and bring it all up and have it a little bit more tailored to me and my style. And I might add ruffle to that one. I haven't decided. This one is very tenty, very tenty. I don't love that. It swallows me up. It just swallows me up. It's a lot of fabric. Uh, same with this one. And I think this is actually the same brand. I really, really want that to be short baby doll style like I like. And then this one I had already cut for when I was doing the golfer ghost upcycle and I ran out of time. So I really want to finish it. So this will be the first one. And it does have it does have a little tie in the back, which I will definitely keep. Whenever I do it on the floor, it seems to just be off no matter what I do, as straight across as I do. And it makes sense because when I put it on and I have boobs, it lifts the front and it makes it kind of at an angle. And so I'm gonna put it on Dolly, she has boobs. And that way when I go around, it's lifting already. And that way the lines should be a little bit more level even though I need to get a dress form that is more my size because even then her boobs are smaller than mine. I used to have her size boobs. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Growth spurt, hormones, age, you know, that whole thing. So I have done the bottom of the dress here, all stitched up and done. And then I'm thinking about putting the lace around the collar as well because I just love, I love a collar. Okay, now I have this fabric. I kind of like just adding it to the front of the collar to give it a little something to like cover the raw edge because otherwise I can just sew the raw edge but I think it would be cool to add that to it. Okay, the collar is on. I like it I think it came out good it's not like experts sewing here <laughs> it is not expert sewing I just make it look a way that I would wear it that I think is wearable this one I want to do so what do we think I almost kind of like just the zigzaggy I think that's what I want to do because I haven't really gotten to use these oh I might not have enough yeah, I do, okay. So I'm gonna do that and this will be a really easy one because literally all I have to do is just go around the bottom and just sew a zigzag. I did the sleeves as well instead of the collar because I started thinking about it. I don't think the way that the balls would hang <laughs> would necessarily look that great. You guys, I love this dress so freaking much. I just made a dress, one of my new favorites in my upcycled dresses. How twiggy, adorable. And the pom-poms make me very animated when I talk. Anyway, I think my husband's home, so I'm gonna consider if I want to start any more projects. Probably not. I will pick this back up tomorrow when the sun's back out. <laughs> One of my Christmas presents arrived. It's the Louis Vuitton planner I've been talking about that I'm so excited to open and a little bit nervous because it was final sale. Really hope that it's in 
workable condition and that my planner inserts fit. Oh, I can't wait to see it. It's tiny. I knew it was gonna be tiny. I actually looked at the measurements and, you know, took out a little measuring tape and I was like, it's gonna be small, but I wanted something that fits in my purse. Let's look. Oh, really cute. It feels just like, you know, kind of like my handbag, which I need to get fixed. I called the guy to repair it and he said bring it in so the shoe repair guy can totally repair the handbag as well. I have some boots I need to get resold and then I want my purse strap to get fixed. Cause how cute would this be? Tucked in my little Louis bag. Ooh, I have two Louis things now. It's in really good shape. Look at the inside. I was expecting to see some decent wear and tear. This is just the authentication uh, from the real real. So a little bit of wear on the corner. I was expecting that. I mean, this is from the 90s. I counted the rings and it should be the same amount as these. Please fit. It's gonna fit. And I counted, just the main thing is counting how many little rungs you have and then if I want I can use this as my wallet as well. I really like, I really like. It's got a little snap. Yeah, I'm gonna put it together and I'll be right back. All right, I have finished. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> His face. Um, I have finished filling out the months. I went through and numbered and wrote all of the months at the top. I need to just really make sure it's correct because if I get this off on any month, it will throw my entire month off and any plan I have. So I just need to just make sure. So I could take, whoa, I have enough for a whole 2025. I might actually take that out since I don't need that right now and save it for next year. This is great because now, the thing I love about this is First of all, it's thrifted and it's Louis Vuitton. That's the obvious. I think the cool part though, is that I'll not have to buy a planner again. And that is something, I kind of look forward to it every year, but I, if I have this, I won't need to. And I don't have to like go buy one now. I can literally just add my dates in and start fresh every year. I can't believe this is 12, I mean, that's just 12 months. I mean, that's enough for like several, that's like three years. That's like three years of planner paper, solved, handled, done. Don't have to think about it. And then now that gives me room to add more paper because I want to do the notepad, but I also want to do uh, some to-do lists and a few other things from the stack. So I'll link this below and the planners below if anybody else is interested in making their own little daily planner. I have some leftover stickers from previous planner this is 2023 but in the beginning of this it has tons of really adorable stickers so i do want to apply some of these to this anyway uh, happy new year to all of you i hope you're excited about a new year with me of crafts and baking and creating and sewing and thrifting because that's what we do here if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not and i'll see you guys on next week's video bye Nothing like to share that